Today's Sunshine Note is titled, The Man with 700 Wives. King Solomon, however, loved many foreign women. They were from nations about which the Lord had told the Israelites, You must not intermarry with them because they will surely turn your hearts after their gods. Nevertheless, Solomon held fast to them in love. He had 700 wives of royal birth and 300 concubines, and his wives led him astray. 1 Kings 11, 1, 2, 3 It came as a surprise to all three of us that we were dating the same guy. My roommate and another best friend of mine had sat down to talk one night, updating each other on the details of our love life when we started to realize there were some similarities between our stories. It turned out that the same guy was going out with each of us secretly, and we had been so busy keeping a secret from everyone else that we didn't share it with each other, and so he was getting away with it. We were furious beyond belief. You can imagine his surprise the next morning when he found out that dating three women at the same time had caught up with him. If you think being with three girls at the same time is bad, consider King Solomon for a moment. He had 700 wives and 300 concubines. Ladies and gentlemen, that is 1,000 women. Some of you might think that doesn't sound like a half bad problem, but before you let your mind go to ridiculous places, look at where it took him. Solomon had made a promise to the Lord that he would keep his laws and walk in the ways of his father David. And he did a very good job of that. Until all those women came into his life. Women have a strange way of influencing a guy, don't they? The Bible tells us that as Solomon grew older, his wives slowly turned his own heart away from God until he built places of worship and sacrifice for the gods of his wives including the gods that required child sacrifices. Never underestimate where turning away from God can take you. Be careful whom you let yourself love, and that includes you guys too. You think your girlfriends or boyfriends don't influence you? Take a look at Solomon. Slowly, over time, the people you love shape and form your character. The people you give your heart to receive the power to turn your heart. If you want your heart to stay true to God, then limit your romantic involvement to those who also love and serve the Lord. May God bless you today.